Good day, fellow disciple of Jesus. Welcome to prayer on Thursday, the 29th of June. Today's a red letter day. Today is a holy day. Today we celebrate St. Peter and St. Paul, apostles. Reading from For All the Saints, According to a well-attested tradition, the apostles Peter and Paul suffered martyrdom at Rome around the year 64. It is said that Paul, as a Roman citizen, was granted the right to be beheaded by a sword, but that Peter endured crucifixion, being nailed to the cross upside down. We cannot say whether they died on the same day, but from very ancient times their martyrdoms have been commemorated together. When Luke wrote the book of Acts, he focused the first half of his account almost entirely on Peter and the role he played in the founding of the church. This part of the story reaches its climax with Peter's visit to Caesarea, where a heavenly vision gave him courage to break with apostolic custom and baptize a family of pagans without requiring them to submit to Jewish regulations. At this point, Luke shifted his attention to Paul and devoted the rest of his account to Paul's missionary journeys, a story which culminates with Paul's arrival at Rome, the very heart of the pagan world. Thus, in the book of Acts, Peter and Paul were like runners in a relay race. It was as if Peter carried the gospel during the first lap, then handed it over to Paul, who finished the course. A rather different story emerges from Paul's own letter to the Galatians. Paul presented a picture of conflict with himself as a loner, pitted against Peter and the other leaders of the church at Jerusalem. The two parties eventually met and agreed to a mutual recognition of ministries. But a short time later, Peter appeared to go back on this agreement, and Paul rebuked him to his face. In the ensuing controversy, Paul was isolated. A number of his own associates deserted him, and he went off on his own. Paul's letter to the Galatians is the only first-hand information that we have, and so far as it goes, Peter and Paul are frozen in a history of fierce antagonism. Today's feast bears witness that, even if their disagreement was not resolved in the realm of human history, Their martyrdom united them in the paschal victory of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, glorified you in their death as in their life. Grant that your church, inspired by their teaching and example, and made one by your Spirit, may ever stand firm upon the one foundation Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is glorified in the lives of the saints. O come, let us worship. Psalm 66, appointed for today. Consider how this beautiful psalm might be appropriate as we remember St. Peter and St. Paul. Be joyful in God, all you lands. Be joyful, all the earth. Sing the glory of the divine name. Sing the glory of God's praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down before you, sings to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God. How wonderful you are, O God, in your doing toward all people. You turned the sea into dry land so that they went through the water on foot. And there we rejoiced in you. In your might you rule forever. Your eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against you. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of God's praise to be heard. Who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip? For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beasts with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. 
Come and listen, all you who revere God, and I will tell you what the Lord has done for me. The one to whom I called out with my mouth and whose praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me and has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer nor withheld steadfast love from me. Let us pray. God of power and might, you bring your people out of darkness and slavery into light and freedom through the waters of salvation. Receive our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving and keep us always in your steadfast love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We leave the book of Samuel for this holy day and instead have a reading from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verses 11 to 16. Once again, consider the lives of the apostles in this reading. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the water courses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and they shall feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So here we have this wonderful vision of God being the shepherd of God's people, going out to gather them in from among the nations, from among all the places where they have been scattered and lost. And instead, the Lord will return them to fold, feed them with good pasture, and be their security. The apostles, Peter and Paul, were like the good shepherd and went among the nations to share the good news, to bring the light of the love of God. Thanks be to God for apostles and evangelists who bring us the light. A reading from John's Gospel, chapter 21, verses 15 to 19. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my lambs. A second time, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he had said to him the third time, Do you love me? And Peter said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. After this, Jesus said to him, follow me the gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peter, the first great pastor who gave his life feeding the sheep. Thanks be to God for such courage in the lives of the saints. Come, Holy Spirit, come. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, we pray to you that this day may be holy, good, and peaceful. Together, Lord, We pray to you that the work we will do this day and the people we will meet may bring us closer to you. 
Lord, we pray to you that we may be forgiven our sins and offenses. Lord, we pray to you that we may hear and respond to your call to peace, justice, and witness. Lord, we pray to you that you will sustain the faith and hope of the weary and build up your church with all joy and peace in believing. Lord, we pray to you that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom. Lord, we pray to you. Gathering our prayers as you taught us, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, friends, the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit embrace you and all that you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day today, Thursday. Thank you for joining us in prayer today.